share my screen and then let me get, let me know let me double check that you guys can see this fantastic dashboard I have over here. Yep, I can see it. All right. So Brandon wanted me to present this. This was a specific request from the marketing team to try and help them better track how their leads are doing, what state of the process they are, and also how to follow up if things if situations change in the future. So this first dashboard I have here, prospecting, this is all based around like when was the last time we actually met with this lead? Have we sent them an email? Have we given them a phone call recently? So we've got this divided into 30 days, 90 days, and then more than 180 days, which covers a whole lot of leads. And then we also have them divided by what was the last contact type? I mean, was it, uh, have they attempted it? Have they engaged with contacts? This is just to try and keep a better idea of where all the, all the leads are in the process. And if one needs to be followed up as soon as possible, now would be the time. Very bottom here, just, this is more for the sake of convenience, but this just shows which are the leads that we've touched most recently. These are the ones that we've recently looked at. And if there was one that you were worrying about that suddenly turns up on this list, fantastic. No more need to worry here. Second part that they asked me to look into was, and possibly the more interesting part, is if we've lost a lead for one reason or another, is there ever a chance to follow up? Say, here are the examples. Here are why we've lost leads. So some are like, okay, the customer didn't respond. We might want to double check, come back and check with them later. Another option, they didn't have the budget. Okay, that's something that they can look into like new year when they have a new budget or something like that. One of the biggest ones that are interesting to us is what are our competitors and why have they outsold us? So as you can see here, we have one main competitor according to the data that I've been looking at is NetSuite. And if for one reason or another, NetSuite turns up in the news, they've had a data breach, they've had some trouble with the systems or just there's a new feature in Dynamics that NetSuite does not have, these are the people we can reach out to and we can drill in. One of the big advantages of these dashboards is we can drill in and say, okay, we want company name, or that's competitor, customer, there are an appropriate, oh, I should have checked this, an appropriate, like, okay, here we go, name. And then if we, name, list this, that's not helpful. None of these companies have names. As you can see, there are still some bugs I'm trying to work out, trying to work out whether this is my dashboard that's not picking up the data correctly or just bad data in the system and how to deal with that. These are, these are the reasons it's not a published dashboard yet and why I'm still working on it. But the idea is simply, let's get as much information and as easily possible so that at a quick glance, we could say, okay, NetSuite, let's... Let's filter these by, uh, sort them by competitor. Okay, NetSuite, all of these are the companies that are NetSuite based. So we could phone them up, we could contact, we could make sure, hey, is everything okay? Do you want to look into other services? So I'll open the floor for questions here. If we do get the data filled out, are we planning to build automations to alert the sales team for those specific ones? Like, hey, a news article about the company came out, check on these clients. Or are they just going to be inferring that themselves from looking at the dashboard? So as I understand right now, dashboard is the first step and they want to see how useful that is and build from there. There is nothing in the works for specific automations. But if they like a lot of these features and say, hey, we need to know this more quickly or that more quickly, then it may come up in the future. Any plans to use the assistant cards to maybe pop up notifications for them? Oh, you know what? I had not considered that. That is one I'd have to look into. So answer to plans, no. Could it be there in the future? Absolutely. It's something I would need to look into and see how 
one how to use and how powerful it could be. All right, I will point out one thing that has, and this is in case you're building a dashboard in the future, one thing that has caused problems for me is knowing when a record was last updated. It's easy to use modified on for thing for some things, but for a lead, a lot of the activities are stored in the timeline. So you've got phone calls, emails, quotes. So I've implemented and I'm still debugging a system that updates the record every time. There's a last touch date field. And it's whenever an activity is put on the timeline or whenever something is modified on the lead itself, that last date touch field uh, gets activated. And we use that as our primary correspondence for like, when was the last time we looked at this record or when was the last time we had an interaction? This is what I had to show. Thank you very much, guys.